welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today is Sunday. Um, pretty nice day out overall. Lots of sun, but some overcast time too here in Vancouver. Uh, I've spent the morning half of the day, it's afternoon now, uh, you know, catching up on household chores, laundry, all that usual stuff that we all need to do. Uh, so today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm combining two things. Um, so I've done a, a smash before using literally a uh, mallet. And, um, you know, so I've done that technique before, but I've never done it as a diptych. So I'm going to try doing that as a diptych today. I have, um, these are black canvases, artist loft, uh, eight by eight inch. So that's uh, 20 by 20 centimeters. So I'm just going to uh, flood these. I haven't done that yet. And then it would be helpful if you were able to put something under here to support the canvas for when you smash, but these ones are pretty good. And I don't really have anything that will fit right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. So let's just flood these canvases, using up some black paint before I mix some more. And uh, I'll use this Oops, Artist Loft ready made at the same time. Like I said, just using up some paint. Okay, let's spread these around. And I'm using up uh, some leftover paint to do this from one of my previous paintings. Um, can't remember which one it was now, but not a big deal. You'll see the colors and, and that, but it's going to be definitely bright and pretty. These are neon colors, so uh, yellow, blue, green, purple, pink, and a little bit of black and a little bit of uh, metallic white. So I will use these. Hoping that I don't make too much mess today, especially since I just cleaned up my apartment, my art space, and all that stuff. So I'm not going to worry about the edges right now. I can always paint those later. Like I said, I've uh, been using up paint lately so that I can empty some bottles and, and uh, start to... Um, mix up some other paints uh, using Floetrol and water with the paints and also I bought some of the um, Artist Loft pouring medium to try so I'll probably end up using that because I'm not sure how much Floetrol I have left to get. Floetrol isn't as easy to get here um, it, or at least I haven't been able to find it very easily here in Vancouver. Um, Home Depot when I went there, I know this was a couple months ago, a few months ago, didn't seem to have it at all, like not even an empty space on the shelf for it. Um, and uh, I think I went to a couple other place stores that you'd think would have Floetrol and they didn't. Um, so I ended up having to go to a standalone paint store and managed to get there, but it was very expensive, about $40 or more for the, uh, the big jug. So anyways, there we go. I'm just going to get rid of all the air bubbles here. So when you're doing a smash technique, of course, you want to make sure you don't have anything sitting around that you don't want to get specs on, just in case. I'm just going to move this somewhere where it can stand upright and drain a bit more. So the colors I'm using, so I have the metallic white and I have neon yellow neon blue, some black, just in case I might not use that much, a uh, bit of, well, this is uh, the metallic purple, um, yeah, from Artist Loft, neon green, and some neon pink. So like I said, I'm using uh, just some leftover paint. So, what I said, so doing it as a diptych, I want to have them close together, so if I do end up smashing I can uh, do it in different colors. So let's see, where are we going to start here? Let's start with some of the white. And these have been sitting a few days, so let me just give them a stir here. And start over in this corner. So basically you just want to layer your colors two or three or more if you want in little puddles and then you'll smash them gently but enough with the uh, 
mallet and you can always repeat a smash with the excess that's on the mallet. So let's try that one see what happens. It's a good idea to just maybe put a finger on the canvas so that it doesn't flip on you. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Should have grabbed some paper towels rather than my mat. But let's keep going. I'm going to put a bit more white because I have a little bit more of that than the other colors. Hope you are all still staying, staying safe and healthy during this pandemic. I'm sure we're all, even though we're doing our part, I'm sure we are getting tired of staying home and staying inside and doing that. I definitely am, but the art has definitely kept me from going absolutely crazy. And uh, I'm grateful that I've been able to do my part and uh, stay home and uh, that our government has been taking pretty good care of us and making the right decisions. Um, I know all the governments in Canada, the provincial governments and the federal government, are talking now, uh, starting to open some things up, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, so let's carry on. Oh, look at that. I love that it jumped across. Okay. Let's continue on. So I'm going to put one here on each side, the same colors, see if I can hit them together, see what happens. I think this paint, if I remember correctly, does have silicone in it, so we probably will get some cell action. That one ran off, but that's okay. Oop, that was a big splash. A little bit too much, maybe. Okay, because it went right up my arm and way over on top of a bottle of um, other pouring medium that I have that I don't actually like. But still, anyways, I <laughs> dry off my arm. Okay, let's do some more. I've got my balcony door quite wide open because it is nice, but all of a sudden it's raining. I can hear it starting to come down, but it can't come in. It would have to be going pretty much sideways to be able to come into my apartment. Um, my balcony is fairly deep, about three feet or more. So, all right, let's try another one. Won't hit it this hard this time. as well but that's okay it's kind of a pretty flower look so I do have to hit it a little bit harder obviously and maybe using white underneath is definitely beneficial it makes things pop better And if you can hear the rain, it almost sounds like hail it's coming down so hard. Wow. I think I got my apron good there too. Alright, so let's hold this down. Okay, let's do some more. This is fun. I might redo that one and we'll see. Oh wow, I think I've mentioned before that I live on the top floor of my building, so I can hear the rain when it's really hard like it is right now. It is pouring and I can hear it outside hitting my balcony and on my roof, which is pretty awesome. I love that sound. So fun and soothing and relaxing. Okay, let's see what else we can do. I 
I might put a little bit of black in this one, just for some contrast. get better results that way. Okay, let's carry on. Ooh, is it ever coming down? Can you hear that? Wow. They said we're going to get rain pretty good off and on until at least Thursday. Like I said, today is Sunday, so we will see. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, I'm going to redo that one just a little bit. Put some white in there. And you don't have to put the colors directly on top of each other. This is your art. Do it however you want. I <laughs> have paint on my neck. I can feel it. Um, that's why I did not wear any sleeves right now. I figured it would be easier to wash me than clothes that I don't want to ruin. There we go. Good. I like that one. Alright. I think we need maybe a bit here. Let's see. Now the rain seems to be slowing down a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> no, maybe not. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of black there. Alright, let's do that again. I may end up someplace splash. I don't smatter my wall behind me or anything. Awesome, I like that. Okay, now I need a bit up here. And then I might just do some uh, splattering by just flicking the paint off of the uh, off the sticks. I'm trying to use different color combinations so they're not all the same. Definitely don't put anything, like I said, around you that you don't want to get splashed. Okay. I'm liking this. I'd like to do a bit more there, though. It didn't turn out quite as hot. Like most of it kind of ran off the canvas in that one. These are not big canvases, so I'm not going to use up all this paint for this. Okay, but now I'm going to think I'm going to give these a little blast with the uh, torch, just to bring up any cells that are there. And then I'm going to do a little bit of just sort of flicking it colors off the stick. Just basically flicking my wrist. Not too much paint on the stick.
Okay, a little bit of purple. My absolute favorite color. I think I am done. <laughs> I love this. I'm just going to torch it one more time. Torch, I think, is getting a bit low. All right. Now I'm just going to add some black here just because it's low and sort of showing the canvas a little bit. So I'm just going to help that fill in a little. Just to make sure none of the canvas is showing through. Don't want to cover up any of the pretty stuff that I've done though. So that will settle and, and uh, sort of self-level a little bit. All right, there we go. I am really thrilled with that. I am going to just clean up a bit and then we will be back and I'll bring you down for a close up. Okay, we're back, did a little bit of clean up there and just let it sit for a minute, see what else develops. But I absolutely love this. This to me looks sort of, you know, outer space, crazy, galaxy, uh, psychedelic, whatever. It looks awesome. So let's move in for some closer looks here. We'll move over to this left hand one first. So like I said, uh, some cell development there, because I think I had some uh, um, silicone in those paints, but I don't 100% remember. But here is the bottom left corner of the first one. I love how this one right here kind of twists. Looks almost like a, you know, a twisted cane or something like that. And this is, this is awesome right there. That is the bottom right corner. We'll move up to the top right corner. So I'm loving this, love this right in here. And then you can see some lacing and, and that in there and some cells right in there. So that's just an added dimension that I really love. And then we'll move over to the left upper corner. I really love that purple, purple streak going right through there with the yellow and blue underneath and this little bit of action right here along the edge of the yellow. You can see that or not. Sorry about the glare, but I like that sort of softened look. And then we'll move over to the other one. So well, this is the right hand one and you can see again I love the purple splashes that I did um, so yeah we've got a little bit of lacing right there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of black there as the canvas is showing through but I'll fix that up in a minute to know a big deal I can do that off camera and then yeah I love this right here this whole splash and splatter and things like that and some awesome cells right there and we'll move up to the top right corner. Love this whole section here. Love this work. It's just like literally lacing with holes in it. Fantastic. Really happy with that. And then the bottom left. So yeah, absolutely love this. And I forgot, I wanted to show you guys some project I just finished yesterday that I'm really thrilled with. I did a dot mandala on a um, mortal and pestle. Now they are drying pretty much dry dry to the touch still dry so they're not varnished or anything yet but i did want to show you those because i'm absolutely thrilled with them so let's bring those in for you so here is the pestle so you can see the dots that i did i even did a dot on the top there i'm not going to be doing this part because if somebody wants to actually use this to grind herbs or things like that then you don't want any paint or anything like that on there but, and I will use um, food grade varnish on the outside just as a precaution. So that is the pestle. And then here is the um, mortar. So I should be able to pick it up without smearing anything. So there's the mortar. Just love it. This pattern, I'm not going to turn it around in my hand, but this pattern is three times on there. So like once there and once over there. So it is three times on this. Absolutely love it. And then it's that beautiful golden honey wood inside so this is for sale if anybody's interested in all my art is for sale but if you're interested in any of these the mortal and pestle or what i just did today 
or any of the art you see on my channel. You can also find me on Val in Vancouver on Instagram and I have a Facebook page called Valerie's Gallery. So look me up there. All my art is posted in pretty much every place and you can uh, DM me if there's something that you are interested in. And I just want to say thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I'm really happy to have uh, my people watching my videos. It's so much fun to do these and I love sharing this enjoyment and fun that I get out of this. And I hope you all stay safe and we'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.